Hi guys, today I'm going to be doing a full in-depth review of the Samsung Turco Lite, um, also known as the S5230 or the Star. Um, I did do a review um, and it's on uh, YouTube, but that was a short, quick review. Um, I've had this phone like, for a week now and it's a very good phone. Um, I've had no troubles and I've only charged it once and I've still got full power back due to very good so let's go let's go um, into the interference um, as you can see it's got, on the home screen um, I've got the widgets out some of the widgets so basically if you want to get the widgets you click this bit and then you go up and down you've got the widgets and what you can do is you can like uh, get the widgets out, get them in, and get them out again, which is very good. And you can click on them so you can see what you can do on them. Um, I've got it's got three screens, as you can see. If you've got a large picture, then it will just fit all of it in. Um, this bit stays wherever you go because it's, it's you know, if you've got the sim of orange, you'll have orange, you've got a virgin, you'll have virgin. Then you've got four. Um, touch pads here as you can see it says dial address book messaging and menu and I'm gonna go to the menu section as you can see there's a menu section um, let's go to applications and have a look what's on applications right first of all on applications you can go read and games and more FM radio voice recorder time uh, time or stopwatch RSS and Orange Plus, which is my SIM card um, name reader. Um, well, so we've, got, we've got a dress book, which I'm not going to go on. We've got the media f uh, album. And let's go to the sound section. I'm putting for the sound, we go put Rington. And let's prove it's kind of loud. It's very loud. This is my Rington. There's a speaker door that comes up and goes. Which is very good. Um, I've had no trouble. Some people said they have drop, uh, calls getting dropped. Nothing wrong with mine. Um, you get Bluetooth. You've got messaging. Now, create a message. You can create a message by just tapping on like that. Keeps about blah 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 blah. Or if you turn the phone around, you get a full quad keyboard, which is very good. And uh, the touch screen is very responsive. Oh, so let's try exit it. Um, you've got your orange roll camera, call history, music, organizer, and alarm settings. The camera. It's a 3.2 megapixel camera, um, not the best, but let me just prove it. Let me just get your phone and let's take a picture of that. As you can see in the phone, I might not see it because it's not focusing my left. Very, very good, like, very, very good light if you've got. If, the, if it's bright, then yeah, you'll get a very nice picture, but if it's dark, then it's dull. Um, uh, I find the organizer kind of useful as well, like the calendar, the memo, the task, the work clock, color, calculator. And I find the converter the most, because um, when I go somewhere, I'll need this. So I've got GBP, and I see I put £500 in. Press OK. Everything comes up. Um, the US dollars. Um, you got your Japan. Japan. You got GBP. EU. You got all of them. I mean, you know, it's got everything you need. It's just like a pocket PC. Um, you know, it does everything you need to be honest. Without any um, hassle. Um, I've had people asking me. Um, to um, actually do a separate review on uh, the internet which unfortunately I don't want to boost because it just wastes credit um, but 
I'll try my best when I'm actually doing it if I, if I do get credit uh, let's get to settings I did show you this but I'm not sure if people are going to view it if you to display a light there's a trick you can do to make your own theme what you do is go to main menu style as you can see I put it as custom and that's the picture I have and it will actually say theme but you change it to custom and then you save it and you put your own picture whatever picture you want and you can save it and um, once you've um, saved it this is how it look it looks nice it looks nice I heard you have to say um, then we get to the hardware features um, there's nothing bad about the phone the hardware features um, Now for the hardware features, I do like the phone. Now this is this is the bit where I do like the phone. Um, it, it's very nice to f hold and a feel like this bit. It's like some kind of form of metal. Um, the front has like a, it's got a large three-inch screen. It's got a speaker grill. Um, the back bit, as you can see, there's a some kind of texture, like a daughter's texture. And um, that's very nice, but I've heard it scratches easily. Um, but I've opened the back cover, and I'm obviously I've ordered one of the back covers, and I've ordered another case like on to keep the phone protected. Um, some people have broke the cases by just sliding them off hard. And if I were you, use two hands and just hold slightly screw like that, then it will open rather than giving it pressure on the phone. Um, yeah, so on the side, you have your volume rocker here, you have your charging and headphone and USB port here, at the bottom you have just a small hole which is a, um, your microphone, and on the side you have two holes which are for the phone charm, on, above that you have your camera shutter button, and you have your unlock unlock button which is very handy um, the things the best like I said something that the camera they're kind of alright and the nice weather um, the touch screen is um, kind of like nice um, other things like um, like I said, the touch screen is nice. Um, with the converter and the organizer, you could go on Facebook, etc. There's some of the things that lacks on this phone, lacks features. Like this was made copying the Samsung Jet. And the things that lacks this phone is that it has no Wi-Fi, which I use on my BlackBerry Curve. Um, but on this one, you know, it doesn't have Wi-Fi, which lacks a bit because Samsung have made good phones and this was a good phone and um, for the young generation if they had the Wi-Fi it would have been much much more better and um, it would have been like you know sellable as well so basically kids everyone would have bought it um, like me but um, I just needed a phone and I got this one I didn't actually go there's a um, Samsung Monty you probably heard um, Samsung Monty is ugly I rather prefer this than rather than the Samsung Monty or the LG cookie um, and if you're planning to get the LG cookie, don't. It's rubbish. I had the LG cookie. Um, it's laggy, laggier than this. This is way better than the Samsung. Um, no, sorry, sorry, not Samsung. The LG cookie. Um, it's six months newer. It has more new features. Oh yeah, the best feature I like of this. The best, best feature. Rather than wasting money, say you have someone next to you, you go to organizer. Um, you, let's pop it the camera a little bit. Yep. And you go on memo. And memo, what it is? You just tap to create, right? Say somewhere. Let's like, say hi. What you can do is press OK and it creates it and it's leaving it like that. What you do is click on it and it sends via Bluetooth. It goes as a text message. Say someone's got Samsung Taco. Then you keep on, you can 
the person that's next to you can speak to them if you want to say something about privately or something they'll receive it by bluetooth if they if they have the bluetooth on um that's the one good thing i like about this phone um because i have been using it with my friends when i'm at school or something um i do use it quite often um I don't got anything to ask this phone. Um, like I said, a few things lags about this phone. Um, it supports up to eight gig of memory card, sixteen. I'm not sure. Um, but the best will be to have a um, uh, if you have eight gig, then don't have a HC eight gig memory card. Because if you do have the HC memory card, what the HC memory card does is a high capacitive. And that takes much, much more battery. And I've got an 8 gig this memory card, not HC. You can have that. That doesn't take no battery. It's just, it's just normally it will take, it will consume the normal battery. Um, while my BlackBerry is here, let's just do a quick comparison of it. Let's just line the phones up. Line them up. Now, obviously, I'm comparing a smartphone to another smartphone but obviously this has a few features that I do like like it has um, <coughs> sorry about that it has the Wi-Fi <coughs> um, it has um, inbuilt it has loads of things that you would actually use it has Blackberry Messenger and while as this you know it's only got Facebook pre-installed in MySpace which is not exactly all of that is it so let's just pick both of the phones up. Let's just line them up first. Line them up. Now, in my opinion, the um, BlackBerry curve looks um, a bit taller, but it's a bit chunky as well if you compare it chunk wise a bit chunky as well um the the great thing i like about it is the black is um the full qwerty keyboard and that's you know so let me just show you this i don't need i don't use this phone for messaging you know like basically you can write hello quickly you know, rather than you know, if you're on the top, on the like, on the top of light, what you have to do is you, you need to, if you want the full quality keyboard, you just have to um, pick the phone up and then put it on the accelerometer, which is on the left, and then you get to right and the text message, which is kind of long. But anyway, overall, I do like the Samsung Taco Light. Um, there's nothing that will change my mind by giving it back or you know selling it. Um, I do strongly recommend people on getting that phone if you're after a touch screen phone. Don't go for the Samsung Monty. It's not all that. It's a rubbish phone. Um, this is better. Um, if you have any questions or anything you need to know, then please don't hesitate to contact me. Just write me a comment or a message. Um, please subscribe if you do like it. And um, yeah, that was. Um, a full in-depth review and a quick comparison with the BlackBerry Curve. Thanks for watching and goodbye.